nicely that from you helping younger juniors achieve their future goals and set them up for the future. What does the future of Gordy Much look like? What's the do you have a sort of plan at the moment or are you just going as long as I'm in a car race and I'm happy? Yeah, um I mean obviously, you know, you always you always kind of have to uh look at what what what's next. So, yeah, we 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 you know, I I have a good idea of where of of uh of where I'll be going and stuff. Um but yeah, apart from that, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, is it all? Oh, hush, hush. <laughs> I, you know, like of course, um, you know, I, I think we've, you know, I think we've definitely got some uh, exciting things. But for for now, you know, I, I still need to finish the job for this year. Um, our our aim is is mm -hmm. to win the championship this year. Um, you know, even if you do have something around the corner, you're only as you're only you're only as good as your last race. Yeah. So you know the focus is still fully on this year, um, and then you know once you know that that new year, you know when, once my last race happens this year, then I can refocus on next year. Yeah. But you know I think I think you know uh, my career is is looking uh, is looking uh, promising, and I'm I'm very happy with the with the way things are things are moving. But yeah. I, I, I had a, unfortunately I went out, you know, I need to, need to um yeah. I need to, uh, <laughs> you're you're on a you're on a good track. Uh, there's a job there's a job to do, there's no point worrying about the next one. There's a yeah, there's a job to do um for now. And um of course when, when I can talk to talk more about it, I'll talk I'll talk more about it. Amazing. I'm just gonna keep dropping hints now. I'll just keep sending you texts, but like, how's your French? <laughs> you picked yeah. that house in central France. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you'll you'll see. We'll see. I may I'm excited to watch it go and you're gonna be keeping on the classic cars, I hope though, because that Jaguar is Yeah, abs better. absolutely, yeah. Um yeah. As long as long as uh as as long as as long as uh you know the the people that I drive with want want to keep racing their 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 cars then yeah I'll, I'll keep keep racing the classics but you know it's it's, it's probably a, a paddock that I'll, that I'll actively try to to be involved with because it's a great 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 place to be it's, and it's great fun it's amazing I'd love to I'd love to go in there and just talk to people because I feel like they'd be so interesting stories to hear yeah yeah absolutely a lot of, you meet a lot of interesting people in that paddock and mm -hmm. um obviously in that in that paddock you know people are there for the cars um yeah. uh, you find another you know the the professional paddocks yeah uh it is it's quite intense it's quite full-on it's very professional um of course it's racing we love it very much we enjoy it very much we're very lucky to do what we do uh it can get it, it can get a lot at times so so to have a weekend where where everyone is there purely for the love of cars mm -hmm. is 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 very is very it's a uh, very refreshing yeah that sounds like a dream yeah <laughs> sounds like a dream where everybody's there for the love of something and there's not ulterior motives going on yeah but i am gonna ask you in terms of goals have you got so you know people talk about their vision boards their mood boards is there one sort of big goal you kind of have written that you you know that what's the what's the day when you would go i'll say i'll say i've made it when this event happens do you have one of those um not to put all the pressure on you at 20 years old obviously but i'd say i'd say you know like being like a phil phil a phil phil factory gt you know, racing driver. That's where I want. Mm -hmm. it. There's, that's, that's where I want my career to be. A professional nice. GT driver. Um, you know, racing in something like Le Mans for a manufacturer. Racing in something like Spa or Bathurst for 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 a manufacturer. I say, mm -hmm. I say that is um, that. Uh, you know, I've 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 done done my done myself well. I. You, I would be living vicariously through you if that happened. I'll be perfectly honest, because that is my yeah. dream. But yeah. I'm unfortunately 98 kg, and I'm not that good a driver, so I don't think I'll ever. Uh, get well, well mate, in, in, in all <laughs> fairness, in all fairness about um, about uh, like at the start of 2021, third 2021 last year, mm -hmm. I was about 100 and 203 kilos. So I've, wow. I've, I'm I'm now weighing about 77 kilos. So I've lost I've lost about 27 wow. 27 kilos because I got to a point in my career where I was just like, well. 
you know, if I if I do, you know, my, my manufacturers will look at me and mm -hmm. as soon as they, you know, regardless of the results, it's not about the results, it's also about image as well and how you present yourself. And I did not look like a professional oh, wow. driver and that, that was a big problem. So, you know, I, I, I basically, you know, said to myself, it's just like, if you don't lose weight now, you're not going to have a career in this sport. So yeah, just uh, started waking up at five o'clock every single morning, trained every single day until I'd lost about 27 kilos. So yeah. well, well done, So That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a lot of weight. You, you, try, you pick up 27 kilos in the gym and you're like, yeah. wow, you know, I've lost, <laughs> I've lost that body weight. And like, you know, sometimes I sometimes I still do it in the gym, like pick up, you know, a 20, 25 kilo dumbbell and mm -hmm. just think I've lost more. Yeah, I, I used to carry this around yeah yeah basically yeah wow. so yeah it's just you know better you know i look i i look more professional than ever i'm um operating at an extremely high level um and i feel like i'm doing my job very very well so um i, I think you know if i keep on keep on going along this route then you know i i i you know of course with with um um certain opportunities that i have on the horizon uh you know i think i think you know i've got uh, i've got a very good chance of uh making making a career in in this sport i could not agree with you more after watching your race could not agree with you more sir so Thank you very much. cheers <laughs> and i'm i'm not just blowing smoke up your arse you yeah, yeah. because you <laughs> yeah i'm a very it's a it's a bad toxic trait i have i say it was on the mind.